my name is Maddie and welcome to Bad Crafter 101. I just said Bad Crafter instead of Mad. Ooh. Where are we today, Maddie, in this poorly lit place? This is my kitchen. Today we are going to be making some super delicious, healthy pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Who knew that was possible, right? I hope you enjoy. We'll see how this works out. I hope I have all the ingredients. Alrighty, what you're gonna need is some butter, an egg, coconut oil, baking powder, sea salt, xylitol, vanilla extract, pumpkin puree, sugar-free chocolate chips, coconut and almond flour, protein powder. Alright, now that we've got everything collected, you're gonna wanna wash your hands, that's right. And don't forget to put your hair up because there's nothing worse than taking a big bite of cookie and pulling out a hair. So go ahead and put one stick of butter into a bowl and one tablespoon of coconut oil and then put it in the microwave for 15 seconds at a time. This way it can melt and not explode all over your microwave. Then go ahead and start to stir it up. It should start to melt pretty fast. I did this three times and it melted it all the way. And then go ahead and crack your egg into the bowl. A lot of people crack their eggs into separate bowls but I'm a rebel and I do what I want. And then you're going to need one teaspoon of baking powder and then you're going to need just a pinch of sea salt and then you're going to need another teaspoon of vanilla extract and then go ahead and start to stir that together and then i went ahead and got my coffee grinder i have and did one third cup of xylitol in my coffee grinder just to make it nice and powdery and then just go ahead and put it into your mixture you already have right now and then stir it together Next, you're going to want to get your protein powder and do four tablespoons of protein powder. That is right. The recipe says unsweetened, but mine's vanilla and it doesn't really matter. It doesn't make a difference. So go ahead and stir that up. And then we're going to need our coconut flour. You're going to need one fourth cup. And then you're going to need a three fourths cup of almond flour. And then once you've got that, open up your pumpkin puree. And I just did one fourth cup of pumpkin puree. Then I put about half a bag of sugar-free chocolate chips in the mixture and stirred it all together. Then go ahead and grab your cookie sheet and some spray and stuff, whatever spray this stuff is called, that makes it not stick to the pan. And then I just did about a spoonful for each cookie and did four rows of three. Oh, don't they look pretty? And then go ahead and set your oven to 350 degrees and plop your cookies in when it's ready. Mine was already actually heated up. Movie magic, I know. And then go ahead and bake your cookies anywhere from 10 to 14 minutes. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's really good. I actually have very low expectations. <laughs> if you are someone who likes a little more sweetness, you can add some pumpkin extract. I hear that's a thing. The problem with these cookies is that they are healthy for you. But if you eat like 12 or all of them, kind of lose that factor. <laughs> and also if you are new to like the world of eating good and you know, using xylitol instead of sugar and almond flour instead of regular flour. These might suck to you. I've been eating like this for like a year. And I'm not saying you won't like it, so I'm saying try it. Because when I first started making these healthier versions of treats and things, this was the only cookie recipe I liked. I tried over 25, I would say, different kind of treats and cookies and cakes and all kinds of things. And this was the only, one of the only recipes I actually liked. So if you're getting into the kind of eating good and wanting a treat, I would definitely recommend this recipe. You don't have to put pumpkin in it, like I said. So if you're not a big fan of pumpkin, just subtract the pumpkin. The recipe is the exact same without the pumpkin. So try those, I really, really like them. So if you wanna know of the recipes I tried that I also liked, I've got a couple more. I would love to share them with you. Just let me know down below if that's something you're interested in seeing. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and uh, subscribe for more videos just like this every single Sunday. I've got some awesome videos coming out and you're gonna wanna 
to stick around. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye. If you love me, let me go.